Colonel Floyd Thompson served our country for more than 25 years. Nearly a third of that was spent in a North Vietnamese prison. He was shot down and captured in the spring of 1964. But because he was captured before the Gulf of Tonkin resolutions, his legal status as a prisoner of war was ambiguous, and he was often isolated from other American POWs. He once went five years without speaking to another American. Finally, after nine years in captivity, he was released and returned to active duty in the United States Army. He died in 2002, and his ashes were scattered at sea near his longtime home in Key West, Florida. Twelve years after Colonel Thompson died, his friends, family, comrades, and fellow prisoners of war gathered at Andersonville National Cemetery for the annual Ride Home service on National POW MIA Recognition Day 2014. They dedicated a memorial stone to Colonel Thompson, and several of his old cellmates in Vietnam shared their memories of his dedication and perseverance. Full military honors were rendered, as a stone now stands as a permanent tribute to his life of service. Andersonville National Cemetery is the final resting place of nearly 13,000 American prisoners of war, a fitting place to honor Colonel Floyd Thompson's sacrifices through nine years of captivity.